was first diagnosed in 2013. I describe mucosal melanoma to people as a cancer that nobody's heard of, but really does exist. I've started using the word unicorn a lot. That diagnosis was, was devastating, and it's such a rare subtype of melanoma that you just don't know how you got it. In the beginning, when I was first diagnosed, I was a little more private about it. Part of that is just the parts of the body where mucosal melanoma arise are sometimes areas you don't necessarily want to talk about publicly. So mine happened, mine occurred first in my vagina. What made this so frustrating in the beginning is that there were so many unknowns. It's an unusual disease. There's only about 700 new ones a year in the USA. I was told by countless physician and specialists that I talked to in the beginning that there were there was this rare disease that they knew a little about but the statistics weren't very good. I went to Mayo Clinic is where I was treated and um, I can remember looking out the window and all there was was fog. It's such a rare thing that when you you look out a window and you don't know what's next. I came out of that initial, you know, oh gosh, I'm in trouble reaction very quickly. That, that night, from my perspective, I knew that I had to take this from a, a science numbers odds standpoint and deal with it rationally because it uh, had every chance of killing me and I needed to get ahead of the curve. Until I got over all the denial and that, did that fog go away? At first, you know, I didn't talk to many people other than my sort of close-knit family and friends about it. And once I sort of um, shed light on what was going on with me publicly and sort of came out of the shadows, I was able to get a lot of feedback from people and a lot of support. I think becoming my own advocate um, most definitely has been something that has saved my life on multiple occasions. Patients can help shed light on this rare cancer by speaking out everywhere they go. I guess it took me just um, feeling like I'm the same person that I was. Um, I'm no different. I can still do everything I did before. When your family doesn't understand it, educate them. Uh, when you run into people who are dealing with it themselves and are tortured by it, help educate them to take action now, the sooner the better. My name is J.B. Ward. My name is Mary Rogers. My name is Jonathan. You can call me John, and I'm coming out of the shadows. I am out of the shadows. I am out of the shadows.